Well, howdy friends, we wanted to come and bring you an update from Camp Lone Star. Our team loves getting to do ministry in this setting. We love getting to plant seeds of faith, to cultivate Christian leaders, and to grow God's kingdom. And we're blessed to be a part of the work of the Holy Spirit to transform lives. As a result of COVID-19 and this pandemic, uh, our ability to do ministry has shifted and has greatly changed. As a result of social distancing, our team is now working very tirelessly for videos and resources to bring encouragement and hope uh, to our guests, to our campers, uh, in a way to point to Jesus. At the same time, our hearts are broken at the loss of opportunity to do ministry uh, here on site in this setting. During this interruption, our team is continuing to work hard to prepare for upcoming retreats, uh, for our school groups, for outdoor eds, uh, in hopes that once restrictions are eased, we have the opportunity to walk with those groups. Camp is very difficult to do remotely, and so while we're continuing preparing, we're yearning for the day uh, where people get to come back on site. We can't wait for this ministry to be filled again, for this campus to be filled again with joy, with laughter, uh, with the sounds of uh, joy from the slip and slide, uh, or for challenge course uh, to be done again, for archery and canoeing, and to do Bible study, and to sit around a campfire and worship Jesus. Uh, all of these things just bring us joy and we can't wait to have this place filled again. So we're excitedly preparing for Summer Camp 2020. Our theme is by faith and we've been clinging to those words, uh, to that word that's a promise, that by faith we know that God is in control. And so we're not making a decision uh, until mid-May uh, about Summer Camp to cancel part or all of it. Uh, we're gonna trust God. So we believe Jesus' words that he speaks to Peter as he walks on water in Matthew 14. He says, take courage, it is I, be not afraid. And so our world is in turbulent times and we have storms uh, around us uh, from this virus. Uh, and it's easy to fixate maybe on those problems or those, uh, those storms, uh, but we know that God is with us. And if he's with us, we have no reason to be afraid uh, because God is on the throne and he has the power over the wind in ways he has power over our fears, over anxiety, and over this virus. And so we can trust him, and with him, we have no reason to be afraid. This spring, unfortunately, we've lost the ability to serve 32 groups uh, with about 1,500 individuals and a projected loss of income of about $100,000. And so since we've been closed since March 16th, uh, we have been working hard to revise our budget to trim any unnecessary expenses. Uh, we've revised contracts where it's possible. We've adjusted our insurance and are investigating the CARES Act. Even with all of these steps, we still have about $70,000 a month in payroll and basic operating expenses. And so we stare down this new reality uh, and we know that we need your help. Uh, we know that God will provide. We know that he's continued to provide it for this ministry for over 78 years he'll continue to do so. But will you pray for us and with us? And will you journey with us? Uh, we know that this has impacted everybody and not everybody's in a position to give financially. Uh, but if you are, would you consider giving a gift of $50 or $150 or whatever God puts on your heart? We know that no matter the size of the gift, God can use that uh, gift to empower this ministry to transform lives. We want to ensure you that as soon as it's possible to do so, and we can do so safely. We're gonna do what God has allowed us to do best, and that's transform lives through adventurous, Christ-centered experiences. And so we're humbly asking that you come alongside us and pray. Um, pray for our full-time staff as they navigate this new reality. Pray for our board of directors for wisdom and discernment. Pray for our summer staff as they've already been hired and are excited to get out here and serve. And pray for our campers and our guest groups that that opportunity comes and they can be ready for it. Together, we're going to continue to walk by faith. Thank you.